Hello everyone, welcome to the Minecraft Drag Race YouTube page, and also welcome to my own drag bar. Um, I wanted to take the time to introduce everyone on the Java cast and give you give you a little more insight and some teasers on what you can expect from this season. So without further ado, let's get started. We are here with the cast. Oh, some of the cast, because certain people didn't want to show up, of uh, Minecraft Drag Race Java Edition Special. I want to start off by introducing the host, Evanoff Matthews. Evanoff, how are you? I'm tired. Yeah. No. You lick it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Next, I want to move over and introduce everyone to Prova Lone. Prova, how are you? Hi, I'm tired as well. And that's such a mood. Next, we have Aquamarine from Celery's Drag Race. Y'all can't find it on YouTube no more because she deleted it, but she was from that season. Aqua, how are you? Hey, I'm fine. Feeling skinny. <laughs> skinny! Shut up. <laughs> and next up, we have Aceta Minifin. Aceta, how are you doing? I'm good. Feeling skinnier. Got all the skitties. And um, next we have the oh so horny Chambray Payne. Chambray, I don't need to ask how you're doing. Hi. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yes, you do. <laughs> ask me. How are you doing today? I'm good, but I, I think I can feel something twitching. Oh my god. <laughs> um, you're right, you shouldn't have asked her. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have said shit to her. I see her over there. She just got this cracked out look on her face. She's she's looking like one of them old school uh them Thomas the trains. She's got that that uh -uh. truck face. Yup. And the last but not least, we have Rhea Basic. How are you doing? Hi, I'm feeling mediocre. Mm -hmm. That's that's such a mood. That's so on brand. Thank you. That's my entire button. We are about huh? 20 seconds in and you can already tell how chaotic this cast is. So, I'm gonna ask a question and I'm gonna go down the line roughly, not everyone, but roughly. And I wanna get some thoughts, opinions. Um, obviously, keep in mind, we aren't spoiling placements or challenges directly. I wanna start off by asking, how is everyone feeling now that you are finally announced on the cast after this being recorded over a year ago? So, I wanna start off with... Raya, how are you feeling? I'm feeling literally gross because I hate that skin. That skin is ugly, crusty, manky, rotted, gutted, gross. I want to burn it alive. I hate that. And if I and if I and I've remade it, but I but and then I asked to put it, and I'm like, no. And I was like, no, no, no. But then I was like, I'm not happy. Eh, fine, I guess. Here's the thing, though. Since it was a year ago, I'm sure, like, if you were to make a skin now, obviously, we none of us are the same as what we were a year ago and you will see, especially if you follow all of us on our socials you will see our growth from then versus now so on that note of being announced um how are you feeling prova about finally being announced after a year i'm glad that we're announced after a year and a half but like also i just i wanted to be over with girl i didn't need to be reminded of this <laughs> Sita, how are you feeling after you're finally announced? Because I know you were very excited for this as we were filming and towards the end, you were very excited. You're like, oh, I can't wait for this. So how are you feeling now that you are finally announced? I'm feeling old. Oh, you are. You're getting old. Oh, really yeah. Uh, no, I remember. I remember because I filmed my Meet the Queens in a hotel room. And that same week that I was in said hotel room, I was doing interviews for college applications. And I have now just finished my first year of college, so it's been some time. Yeah, no, it's definitely been a while. Um, we won't get into too much of the backstage tea until after the season. We will probably do that on my own personal channel. So if anyone wants that tea, you definitely got to subscribe. Um, but going back to the topic of being old, Janaw. How are you feeling that you were the host of Minecraft Drag Race Java Edition Special? What was it like hosting and what was it like being told you were going to be the host? Very traumatic. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Didn't know what to expect going into it. So, what do you think 
after the season, without spoiling too much, what do you think fans can expect from this uh, season? Which, by the way, for those who don't know, that just because it's a special, it's not like a two-hour special. It's a full season of Drag Race. It's just a one-time thing. We aren't doing a second job edition. It's just a one-time thing because a lot of hard Thank God went into this, and we wanted to make sure that this was still posted and shared with everyone to watch. So, Evanoff, what do you think fans can expect from this season, from the cast, maybe like a laugh, like amazing runways. What What do you- I'm so excited for people to see the amazing runways y'all did. We have some challenges that have like not really been seen before or, and like we put so much work into these challenges. So on that note of amazing runways, um, I'm just gonna leave this question for the, anyone in the room to answer. Um, how does anyone feel about just overall runway packages this season? Do we feel like it holds up to bedrock or just what can you tease about the runway package this season? I really think this season is just watching people's journeys as they grow because everybody here except Aqua had their starting point in Minecraft design with this season. So in the beginning you'll see you'll see how that plays out, but then throughout the season you really see people improve. And even though we don't we were only able to do sixty four by sixty four skins, I think I still think we were able to knock it out of the park. I definitely agree with that. Um, so also, while uh, you're talking, Aqua, I want to know how does it feel to go from Celery's Drag Race to this Drag Race? Because I believe this is your second recorded, correct? Yeah. So how, how did it feel walking in? I think it felt the thing. Like, I didn't expect it too much. Probably expected to go home early a second time. So, I, I, have, I have a little shitty question to ask. Which cast do you prefer, this cast or Celery's Drag Race? I think this cast was more, <laughs> was more friendly than the other one. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know if some of you folks have your problems with others. Definitely, definitely. So, on that note of loving each other and friendships, um, I'm, I'm gonna go down the list because I want everyone to share their opinions and thoughts on this. So obviously we all came into here not knowing each other. After coming out of this competition, how do you feel you are on like terms with everyone else? Do you feel like you made a good impact? And do you feel like you overall came out of the season with some friends? I'm gonna start off with Raya. I mean, let's be honest, um, like I knew basically one person going to the cast and if this was like right after i would have been friends with but i was not not that was friends with everyone but now since it's been like so long since i feel like my i've gotten really close with a lot of the girls we've i do drag races with aqua i do i talk with progress sometimes i tolerate the rest yeah aqua how do how do you feel about what question was like obviously like coming into here we didn't know each other so like how did you feel about your impact uh towards others and did you overall come out of the season with like some friends and stuff like that yeah this this season was very like we talked best friend right like a lot of us stayed in touch afterward the season was over and we still leave either compete on other drag race together or just play minecraft I don't mean to be the shady bitch. I must have to disagree. I don't feel like this was best friend race. Not while we filmed this. We were some nasty, evil. We listen and <laughs> while we filmed this, while filming, yeah. We but were after the season, I'm so sorry. Oh, go ahead. I had a full-on list of names of people that I wanted to remind myself later on not to be friends with. Can you read it? Oh, yeah. hold on, hold on. Rated. We're gonna get into that in um, a minute. Evanoff, I wanna, I wanna take the conversation to you for a second. Obviously, as the host, you got to witness everyone be really competitive and very vocal about how they feel. How do you feel the intensity was this season? Be, rather be behind the scenes or on camera? How do you feel? I feel like a lot of this, uh, of this competitiveness happened behind the scenes. I really got to, a lot of these queens really got to, like, let, let out their emotions with me privately, so I, I really got to see, like, ev everybody's situations going on. There are definitely some tears shed this season from contestants, um, but also on the- Air house. Going back- No! Ooh. We won't, we won't enter that until we get until with the season. We'll talk about it after the season. We'll sit down one on one, bitch, because I got a lot of questions on that. But going back to uh, friendships, overall impact, and how they feel after the season. Obviously, 
I do want to emphasize, this is a year ago. What you are seeing on screen is not how we are now. And, and also, don't send no girls hate for no reason. Doesn't matter if you like the drag or the personality, whatever. Because you don't know them, so keep your mouth shut. But on the uh, going back to the question of just after the season, um, Asita, you were gonna say something a minute ago. Would you like to uh, share uh, how you feel? And yeah, um, I mean, you just touched on making sure people don't send hate. I just wanted to add, if you'd like to send me hate, that's okay. I like any kind of attention. Anyways, um, I had a, yeah, I had a full-on list of names that when I ran into when when we ran into drama, I would write their name in a list and I would make sure I didn't forgive them for it. I would make sure I held that grudge. And Ashby, your name was on that list. Well, y'all yes. heard it here first. I'm a nasty cunt. No, I love yeah. you. I love y'all. No, Provo was on that list too. Provo was on that list. Okay. I know. Was I in the no, 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 no. list? We don't want we don't want to get too much into those details. I promise. After the season, we're definitely gonna do a part two of this. We're gonna do a 2.0 reunion. So for anyone who would like to show up, please, if you want to share your full unfiltered thoughts, you definitely can. Uh, for now, let's stay focusing on teasing the season and stuff. So bringing the conversation back to the host, Evan off. I want to know challenge wise when you were creating the set and coming up with challenges. Were there any challenges that you would like to tease or just flat out just share? right now uh that people should definitely expect from the season and to look forward to i'm just gonna say this there is a special acting challenge this season i absolutely love this challenge i cannot wait for that episode to come out that was so good that, that was a very uh good episode so does anyone have any thoughts they'd like to share on of that particular acting challenge episode without spoiling the challenge itself. It was a lot of hard work. Yeah. I it was um questionable. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. So a friendly reminder to everyone watching, definitely follow everyone on socials because as you can tell, everyone here is shady and nasty. So all the tea will be spilled on everyone's socials. So definitely give everyone a follow. I'm gonna make sure uh, to put in the comments or we'll put in the description, everyone's socials. So please, please, please give us a follow, support us, support our runways, our art that's gonna be shown. Cause like, it's great. Everyone, and I do mean everyone, really, really had at least, at least at bare minimum, one moment on that runway where they ate that shit up. Everyone? Yeah. I don't <laughs> Speak for yourself, I mean, I mean, you can believe that. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. I do think Asita is right. I feel like Evanoff was pretty ugly when she walked out on the runway. I feel like she really didn't look good. Very true. That's okay. what I was thinking. <laughs> no, y'all are so shady. <laughs> so, Evanoff, I have a question for you. Was there any moment on the season that you necessarily um, were thinking? This isn't for me. I'm not having a good time. What were what were you thinking as a host? Because obviously you went from competing to hosting. So I want to hear like your insight on that. What was the the change and the difference in that? I would be very honest. Judging is not really my cup of tea, and that having that mindset kind of uh, what's it called? I was scared throughout this entire competition on my decision making skills and every everything production wise. It was just kind of a little overwhelming throughout the, the whole season. That's, that's very fair, um, especially after helping you edit the season and stuff, because I, it was like, it is a big task. It is a very, very big task to edit. After seeing you edit and stuff and helping you edit, I will say this season is coming along very, very great. It is probably one of the few drag races that's gonna have cinematic angles. It's, it's very, I feel like it's high quality without actually being high quality, if that makes sense. I wanna give everyone a chance, cause we didn't, we didn't do this at the beginning. I wanna give everyone a chance to kind of introduce themselves, their drag aesthetic and how you are now and what, what you can expect from yourself on this season. So let's start, uh, sitting next to me, Prova. I love designing and everything, um, and I always do something with concept, and I do something fun. I try to not make it look like shit. We'll see if that carry through. Most of the time it did not. But, um, yeah, 
Asita, uh, explain your drag aesthetic, who you are as a drag artist, and how you are now, or you can share what you were like on Java. Uh, please share. I don't know. See, Java was really the first step in discovering who I was as an artist, because I did not consider myself an artist at the time. Um, so, I just really like to channel everything about who I am. I'm a very academic type person. That's quite literally what I live for, is learning new things so i really try and channel what i love into my drag and that tends to involve mythical creatures i things like that it tends to involve incorporating those stories that we love into who we are um moving down the line uh aqua describe your drag and also to add on for you specifically how did your drag change from celeries to this minecraft uh, drag special oh my drag is Personally, more I like more performing based. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a designer type of a person. From salary to Java, um, mainly my my runway and food. Uh, moving down the line, uh, next we have um, Chambray. Well, during Java, girl, that was my first time like doing any kind of drag or art or even Minecraft skins, girl, and. During Java, I was just like going into different uh, categories, like testing out what I am. So it's a little bit of a mess. It's a little here and there, but I found me, and now I'm a little campy, a little dumb, a little slut, but it's me, and I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> so I do, I do want to issue um, an 18 plus warning if you're going to follow Chambray. Uh, you need to be at least an adult. Because that bitch is, um, I am not that dirty. Only with you, baby. Next in line, who have I not asked? Oh, um, yeah. Me. Why, yeah. Describe your drawing like, and how you are now. I mean, I use like a lot of my. I use like the drag as like a way to like stress my feminine side because like there's a lot of few non binary people. I don't. I don't get to express my feminine side in IRL that much, so I did it through a lot through my Minecraft. I mm. think everyone's pretty spot on with their drag aesthetics. I mean, I know Java was like mm -hmm. a lot of our first times like exploring drag and stuff. So I mean, I definitely feel like a lot of those values that we had when we first started our drag journey definitely still hold up to our drag now. Um, overall. I feel like this was a, a great way to introduce the cast and hopefully tease off little things. Um, this is like la this is your last chance. Uh, anyone here who would like to share anything else about the season, I'm going to give you all a chance going down the line, starting with Raya. If you'd like to share anything else, maybe to help tease the season, or if you if you want to pass it, just say pass. I hate all these bitches, and I hope you hate the season just as much as you hate them. Oh bro, I'm so invested. You know what? You have my money. Awkward. Thank you. Let's let's go to let's go to you. Get ready. Chambray, do you have anything you would like to tease about the season? Get ready, girl, because the tea is tea. It's piping hot tea. So be ready, cause the tea is yeah. Uh, moving on, yeah, we have um Asita. Anything you'd like to tease? Intellectual, intellectuality, intellectual. None of us are smart. No. I am definitely going to do this again. However, I'm going to do this again with the cast of Petra's Drag Race. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that. And oh. please tune into the Java special because we need the views and the clout.